Today we're at the Great American Ranch and Trail Horse Sale. This is a very high-end horse auction and I've never been to something like this. I didn't grow up with horses and so I've never actually been to a horse auction. Carmel was saying the horses at this one went for like $70,000. I was looking online and there's some pretty crazy horses here like a lot of gypsy banners. So we're gonna get ready and go on in. Carmela's wearing her matching baby onesie today. <laughs> I was come prepared, okay? It's a little cold out. It was probably definitely colder in the building, so. This sale was really cool because they actually had classes all weekend long showcasing the horse's abilities so that you could kind of see what they can do, especially in the ranch and trail work. And then they also had a warm up where you could actually go and ride the horses you were interested in purchasing. But my favorite thing, of course, is always looking at the horses. So this was actually the first guy we saw. He's a Gypsy Vanner, and he ended up being the top selling horse. He sold for $77,000. And I knew when I saw him, I'm like, this horse is gonna go for a lot. The next horse we saw was this little gray mare who was beautiful and super friendly. She kept trying to walk out of her stall and sniff the flowers and stuff. But her buddy next door was this lovely gelding with this cool facial marking that I just thought was really unique and I liked the dots on his face. Out of all the horses at the auction, and this mare was my favorite. She was a four year old Gypsy Vanner and she was more on the petite side. She was really small, but she was just so cute and friendly and adorable. And then Colin's favorite horse was this giant blue roan draft cross. He was super cool and super friendly and Colin loved that horse. There was also a Frisian and this is actually the first time I've gotten to be near a Frisian. So that was super cool. And then a Brahmin cow too. Someone came in riding on the Brahmin cow and this was a dead broke cow. Mind you, going into this auction, I knew that a lot of these horses were gonna be way over our budget. So I was really just browsing. You know, all of these horses had top pedigrees and everything like that. Look at this super cool, I think chocolate chestnut. I've never seen a horse like that, but that horse was beautiful. Um, and so all of these horses, like I mentioned, way above what I could pay, but they were still super cool to see. I kind of felt out of place there because we were just walking among a lot of like rich, ritzy horse people. And then there's us. But this Halflinger Belgian Cross, I absolutely loved. And ideally, this is something I'd like for my next horse. Something Colin could ride and that I could ride. So I liked seeing him. Then we went to the warm-up arena just to kind of see the horses that were out there. I love this Appaloosa mare. Um, she actually had three eyelids, which I thought was interesting. But then people started warming up for the auction to start and you see a little halflinger down there. I love draft breeds and especially small draft breeds. Then they announced the winners of the trail class they had had that morning and then it was time for the auction to start. The first pony up for auction was this cute little quarter pony and I was actually surprised how cheap it went for. The highest bid was $3,700 and they did not accept the sale. Then the Brahmin cow came out and oh my gosh, I'm like, I want a cow to ride. It sold for $3,000. So I'm like, cheaper to get a cow, may as well. I absolutely adored this paint pony. Um, this pony went for a little bit more uh, it was very well trained as you can see and it went for $10,500. And then they had another pony, they did all the ponies first. So this pony also did really well. It ended up selling for $13,500 and this was just a bomb proof cute little pony. Then the Western Riders started to come out. They had this Blue Roan Appaloosa which was absolutely beautiful, very well trained. It looked like he did a lot of reining and um, some other ranch work. He sold for $19,000. It was starting to get a little bit higher. Up next was a cute little POA pony and I adored this pony. I'm like, oh, a buddy for Tucker. Anyway, he sold for $5,700. This next horse was a quarter horse that excelled in ranch work and they did a lot of cool things with it. Throwed a lasso off of it, stood on its back. The highest bid for this horse was $11,000, but it was not accepted. It was too low. Then that cute little blue roan gypsy vanner was up and oh, I absolutely adored her. I was actually very surprised for how much she went for. Um, she was just a little nervous and things like that, but she ended up going for 13,500. I liked this little cute horse. He seemed very friendly. You know, he was laying down in the arena doing all kinds of tricks. He sold for $13,000. And then we had a Halflinger. I absolutely love Halflingers. You could tell that this Halflinger maybe was on the younger side um, and also just a little nervous in the environment, but overall super cool horse. 
sold for $15,000. The highest bid on this horse was for $17,000, but it was not accepted. The Appaloosa mare, she was absolutely beautiful, but I think people were a little shy because she had that third eyelid. So she ended up selling for $8,500. I think this horse here was a bay roan and Colin absolutely loves roans. He had never seen anything like that. So this horse was a little nervous with that umbrella, but ended up selling for $10,000. I was really excited when the Gypsy Vanners came out because I just was interested to see how much they would go for. So this was a Gypsy Vanner mare. She was actually only four years old, but super well trained. She went for $31,000. This next horse up, I feel like it went for a lot cheaper because it was not being ridden. I think that they could have gotten a lot more money out of it showcasing its talents, but it only went for $9,000. Then we had this draft cross paint super cool horse oh my gosh this is again something i would want in the future like for colin to ride and for myself i love giraffe crosses just a super unique horse and i thought he was gotten out of steel he sold at eighteen thousand dollars up next was another gypsy vanner and these gypsy vanners were so well trained and just super calm in general but i think the breed is pretty much like that this one once again another steel sold for $20,000. I just thought that was really cheap for these horses. Up next, we had a beautiful Palomino gelding who showed off some reining and ranch work. The highest bid for him was $18,000, but the seller wanted more, so he ended up not being sold. A lot of horses were actually like that at this auction. Another horse like that was this Frisian, and I guess at some of these high-end auctions, you can get horses out of steel. The highest offer was for $17,000, and it was not accepted. I mean, look at this horse move. I don't know if a lot of these horses were just here to to get the experience and not to be sold. So Colin, what did you think of your first auction? I thought it was interesting. I thought it was pretty cool. What was your favorite horse? Um, I liked that black one at the end. The Frisian? Yeah. Yeah, I was actually surprised at the prices. Like, horses were going for the five figures, but I don't know, I feel like they were going cheaper than what I thought they should go for. This auction was way different than the auctions I usually go to, like the one that I got Yoshi at. It was just way cleaner and the horses were in way better shape. If you are interested in purchasing a horse at auction, or you just want to know about the process, I actually have an article on my website that kind of breaks it down and breaks down like what to look for when you look at horses and things like that. So I will link that article in the description for you to check out. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos.